Once upon a Christmas in Moscow, Russia, there lived a little boy named Kolya. He always loved the Christmas season. It was the time of year when people were happy and trees were decorated with many beautiful ornaments. This year was different for Kolya. As he looked at all the pretty decorations on the Christmas tree, he thought of his father who worked as a weatherman in faraway Antarctica. Kolya knew that in the land at the bottom of the world, there were no trees to decorate, nothing but ice and snow. If only there was some way Daddy could have a Christmas tree. Why, Christmas just isn't Christmas without a tree and all the ornaments. Yes, if only there was a way Kolya could be sure his daddy would have a tree for Christmas. Hmm, if only there was a way, if only. I don't have enough gas. Say, look, there's someone who can help. That's Santa Claus. Kolya looked up into the clear night sky and saw Santa Claus zooming about in his star-studded jet plane. It streaked across the sky, brighter than any comet. Then it swooped to the ground and slid to a stop. Daddy, Santa Claus, hello, hello. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Kolya. Now, what would you like this year? A mechanical toy, or how about a big television set? Hmm? Oh, Santa, my daddy. I know you'd like to take him that Christmas tree. Well, you take my plane. But you must reach your daddy in Antarctica before the clock strikes 12, or else. Now, when the clock strikes the first chime, climb aboard the star shooter and take off. Stop for nothing. That's a mighty long trip. It could be hard to do. Just keep going, for with the last chime at 12, the Christmas magic will stop. Oh, I understand, Santa, but what do I... Now, have... now, Kolya, just hang on to your tree. Don't hit the Big Dipper. Keep going south. Mm -hmm. And remember, you must be there before the 12th chime. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Goodbye, now. <gasps> Is that the first chime? Yes, there's no time to lose. All right, I'll do as you say. Thank you, Santa. Bye. I'm off to Antarctica. <laughs> Let's go, driver. I've got more work to do.
penguin, so you're a human boy. It's very interesting. <gasps> the tip toy. Oh, please. Where's the weather station? The what? The what? The what? The weather station? Oh, I'm glad you're a boy. I'm a penguin. Are you sure? Oh, you're the son of the weatherman at the camp. I thought you were. Yes, you look like him, just like him. I look like my family, too. See, don't we all look alike? We always have looked alike. Never saw anything before like it. We always look alike. Yes, we do. Oh, please. Please, my daddy, you don't understand. I do, I do, I do. Want me to sing for you? <gasps> Let's see if have time. We'll have to hurry or I'll be late. <laughs> we'll help you then. Come on, everybody. Collier was frozen with disappointment. He couldn't go any further. Collier? Mm -hmm. oh. oh, yeah? Here's a cable for you from Antarctica. Oh, Antarctica? Oh, thank you, thank you. It's from Daddy. Mother, Mother, a cable from Daddy. Oh, Mother, look, read it. Received a big Christmas tree by plane today. Merry Christmas, love, Daddy. Oh, Daddy did get his Christmas tree. He did. Hooray! That's fine. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year, too.